Hey everybody, Mr. MathLog here. This is a review for your test on factors, multiples, and patterns. And all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. I have to go kind of fast, you guys, because um, uh, this only lets me uh, go up to a certain amount of time. So this let, I'm just going to give you some samples of the kinds of problems that you may see on your upcoming test. Okay, so Elena has 14 tiles to arrange in a rectangular design. She drew a model of the rectangle she can make with 14 tiles. Okay, so here's 1 by 14 and 2 by 7. And 1 times 14 is 14. 2 times 7 is also 14. What can Elena conclude about the uh, number 14 from her model? Okay, well it's not prime because there's two sets of numbers. It is composite. So if you have more than one set of numbers that multiplies, then it is called a composite number. Uh, 14 is neither prime nor composite. Well, there's only one number that's neither prime nor composite. That's the number 1. That's in the later lesson, you guys. One's called the identity number. And there's no such thing as prime and composite. So it's composite, you guys. So uh, it's either prime or composite, but it's composite right there, okay? All right, so list all the factors in pairs of uh, uh, 48, okay? So 1 times 48 is 48. So the factors of 48 are 1 and 48. Since 48 is even, 2 goes into it, 2 times 24. 3 goes into it, 4, uh, 4 goes into it, and then the other number that goes into 48 is 6, okay? All the other ones are hidden inside of here. Okay, 3 times, it's 16 that equals 48, you guys. So uh, 3 is 16 are also factors of 48. 4 times uh, 12 uh, is 48. And so what you can do is if you double 2, it gets you 4. So that means you're going to have to take half of this number and it'll be 12. So 4 and 12 are also 48. And you guys know 6 times what? 6 times 8 equals 48. So 6 and 8 are, are, are factors of 48. So here's all the factors of 48. Lots of them. Okay, Anna uses 22 connecting cubes to make a model of her bedroom. The bedroom model is in the shape of a rectangle and is one cube high. Okay, this one cube high just means we can't stack the, uh, the cubes right here. So just, it's asking you how many different ways can you... Um, uh, make rectangles with 22 on this. So, so there's uh, here's one, one times 22, and then since uh, 22 is even, two goes into it, two times 11, and then that those are the only ways we can make rectangles. So there's only two ways. Okay, Dell has practice every three days. Ellen has practice every four days. On December 12th, they both have practice together. When will they both have practice together again? Okay, these are, we're listing the multiples of 3 and 4, and then so the common multiple between 3 and 4 is 12. What's the other common multiple? Okay, so there's the 12 right there. I'm going to do Dell uh, every three days in blue, so there's Dell every three days in blue. Ellen will do in red, so every four days she goes in red, so if we just keep adding 4, adding 4 would get us to this 12 right here, and then if we kept going, plus 4 would get us to 16, plus 4 would get us to 24, and, and 20, and then 24 would be the other one where they share, where the red it would overlap here. So this is going to be my other purple one. So to answer the question is, uh, they will have practice together again on the 24th day. When would be the next day? Well, it would be on the 36th day, so we'd have to keep going on this calendar right here. But uh, just multiples of 3 and 4. Flo spent $42 to buy some hats. Each hat cost the same whole dollar amount. How many hats could she have bought? Okay, so this is factors of 42. So what numbers go into 42? Okay, so remember this from a couple of lessons ago when we built this uh, divisibility shortcut table right here. Is the number even? Yeah, that's even. So 2 goes into it, but that's not one of the choices. Is the sum of the digits divisible by 3? Well, if I added these digits, 4 plus 2, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 3 goes into 6, so, so 3 goes into it. So she could just spend $3 on each hat right there, okay? So, um, uh, I'm sorry, uh, she could have bought uh, uh, $14 on each hat, and she could have bought three hats. Now, there's another one hiding in here. It won't be like this on your test, but there's another one hiding in here, and it's this one. Since the, the number is even and it's divisible by 3, 6 goes into 42 also. So 6 goes into 42, and she could have spent um, uh, uh, $7 on each hat and got 6 hats. Now, on your test, you guys, you will only have one correct uh, choice. This example has two right here. Whoops, I'm at school, and my, my bell just rang, so you're hearing that right there. So I have a number between 60 and 100. My 1's digit is 2 less than my 10's digit. I am a prime number. What, is, what number am I? Okay. So, uh, so since I'm a, uh, 
uh, between 60 and 70, then the tens digit has to be a 6, 7, 8, or 9. Now we're not including 60 and we're not including 100 because it's between them. But here's my 6 for all the other numbers in the 60s, for the 70s, for the 80s, for the 90s right here. Now the second sentence says that my ones digit is 2 less than my tens digit. So if it's in the 60s, it has to be 64 because 4 is 2 less than 6. If it's in the 70s, it has to be 75 because 5 is less than uh, 2 less than 7. 6 is 2 less than 8, so it has to be 86 or 97 because 7 is 2 less than that. Then let's go to this last sentence. I am a prime number. Well, 6 and 86 are even numbers, so 2 goes into 6 and 86. And since 5, uh, 75 ends in a 5, then 75 is divisible by 5. And these are composite numbers, not prime. The only other uh, number is 97, and 97 is prime since only 97 and 1. So our number is 97, okay? Here's a list of the prime numbers under 70. 2, 2 is the only even prime number. It's the first prime number. Okay, 3, uh, uh, the first prime positive number. 3 is uh, prime, 5 is prime, 7 is prime, 9 is not. 11 is, 13 is, 15 is 3 times 5. It's composite, not prime. 17, 19, 21 is not, because 21 is 3 times 7. 23 is. 25 is not, 5 times 5, 27 is not, 3 times 9, so 29 is, and then here's the rest of them, 31, 37, 41, 43, 47, 53, 59, 61, 67, okay? So I could have went up to 100, but I, I chose to stop at 70. Michelle uses 17 connecting cubes to make a model bathroom. This is like the one before. The bathroom model is in the shape of a rectangle and is one cube high. How many different ways can she make the model of the bathroom? Well, how, is, is 17 composite or is it prime? It's prime, so there's only one way. Only, And this is the one way, 1 times 17. I pulled this picture off of one that we did on an earlier lesson right there. Which statement correctly relates the numbers 6 and 12? 6 is a multiple of 12. Well, that's not true. It's kind of backwards, you guys. 12 is a multiple of 6. Multiples of 12 are 12 times 1, 12 times 2, 12 times 3. So, 12, so those are multiples of 12. 12 is a factor of 6. No, that one's backwards also. 6 is a factor of 12. 6 times 2 equals 12, so 6 and 2 are both factors of 12. 12 is a common multiple of 6 and 12. Well, here's the multiples of uh, 12. 12 times 1, 12 times 2, 12 times 3. Let's list the multiples of 6. 6 times uh, 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Yeah, 12 is a common multiple of both 6 and 12, so the answer is choice C. Let's look at this one. 18 is a common multiple of 6 and 12. Well, here's 18 as a multiple of 6, but it's not a multiple of 12, so it's not a common multiple of... Um, of 6 and 12. It's only a multiple of 6. Okay, use the rule to write the first 12 terms in the pattern. Describe another pattern. Okay, so we're going to add 11, subtract 6, and the first term is 12. So here's the first term, 12, and then we just plus 11 is 23, subtract 6, 23 minus 6 is 17. So let's keep going. Plus 11 minus 6, plus 11 minus 6, plus 11 minus 6, all the way till we get to our 12th term out here, finally plus 11. So 17 plus 11 is 28. 28 minus 6 is, is 22. 22 plus 11 is 33. 33 minus 6 is 27. 27 plus 11 is 38. 38 minus 2 is 32, plus 11 minus 6, plus 11. Okay, now uh, the patterns are these. It's kind of hard to see, but first look at the ones digits. The ones digits, whenever you have something where you add something, subtract something, or you can subtract something, add something, whatever this is, they run on cycles of four, the ones digits. Check this out. This ones digit goes 2, 3, 7, 8. And then it does it again. 2, 3, 7, 8. Then it does it again. 2, 3, 7, 8. Okay, so that's one of them. The other one is this, you guys. Every other term always increases by the same amount. In this case, it increases by 5. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 5 is 22. 22 plus 5 is 27. Plus 5 plus 5. If we started with 23, 23 plus 5 is 28. 28 plus 5 plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, okay?
All right. Bob is playing cards with friends. He will deal 36 cards to friends. He must deal the same amount of cards to each friend. How many cards can he deal to each friend? Okay, so if he's going to deal all 36 cards, it has to be a factor of 36. Factors of 36, 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, finally 4 times 9. Okay, so which one has these numbers? Is 1, 2, and 8? Eight? Well, 8's not in them. Uh, 2, 4, and 8. Well, 8's still not in that uh, group. 2, 6, um, sorry, 2, 4, and 9. That's the one right there. So, uh, that's, so he, could, uh, he could have uh, uh, dealt uh, two cards to each player. That's if he had 18 people. Could have dealt four cards to each player. There goes my bell again. You're going to hear one more in another two minutes. Sorry about that. That's the warning bell. All right, and today's a holiday, so there's no kids coming in. What is the rule for the pattern of the numbers below? Sorry about that, you guys. So 75, 30, 70, 73, 78. So check this out. It goes minus 2 plus 5. Minus 2 plus 5. So subtract 2, add 5. So that's it. So just kind of see what the pattern is right there. So subtract 2, add 5. List the factors of 18 and the multiples of 18. All right. The factors of 18 are the numbers that goes into 18. What times what equals 18? Okay, so 1 times, and they kind of, these go in pairs. This number times this number, 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. And multiples are 18 times 1, 18 times 2, 18 times 3, and so on. Okay, all right, you guys. Good luck on your test, and I appreciate if you let me know how you did on your test, too. Take care, everybody.